Duha. Taking down their tents and packing up what's left of their belongings. Here in Rafa, these Palestinians are desperate to flee the Gaza Strip's most southernmost city after a night of Israeli airstrikes, as fears continue to grow of a looming ground assault. We escaped the north with empty hands, then we escaped Khan Yunus with almost empty hands. We don't want to repeat that. We want to be ready this time. We have children and women with us. Where should we go? We're sleeping in a nylon tent. We'll die instantly if a missile hits us. Rafa is where over half of the enclave's 2.3 million population is sheltering after fleeing intense fighting in the north. And it's also where Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu declared his troops would deploy to on his quest to eliminate Hamas. Israel announced two of its hostages were freed in the overnight strikes and that their rescue justified pressing forward. International pressure, however, is mounting for the offensive to be called off, saying Palestinians simply have nowhere else to go. A potential full-fledged military incursion into Rafah, where some 1.5 million Palestinians are packed against the Egyptian border with nowhere further to flee, is terrifying. There must be an immediate ceasefire. All remaining hostages must be released, and there must be renewed collective resolve to reach a political solution. The United States has said it didn't consider the airstrikes more than just a hostage rescue plan, but that it does not support a full-scale operation in Rafah. According to the Hamas-run Gaza Health Authority, over 28,000 Palestinians have been killed in four months of war.